if you know data streaming, chances are you know Apache Kafka. This open source project is used by over 80% of the Fortune 100 and by thousands of other organizations, both large and small, for real-time data streaming. But while open source Kafka is free, self-supporting it in-house is not. Engineering teams running OSS Kafka have to spend long hours deploying and provisioning infrastructure just to keep the day-to-day -day operations moving, and that doesn't even take into account the challenges of setting up and securing new data streams. These efforts don't get easier over time either. Streaming only grows within organizations, and engineering costs keep growing too. But that's where Confluent, founded by the creators of Apache Kafka, comes in. Confluent Cloud solves the challenges that developers, architects, and operators face with Kafka by making it cloud-native, complete, and everywhere. But I won't just tell you about it. Let me show you how each of these advantages of Confluent Cloud play out for your business. Let's start with cloud-native. Confluent spent more than 5 million hours developing Quora, a cloud-native engine for Apache Kafka that makes it easier to run. This is much more than just throwing Kafka in the cloud, and I will show you just how easy it is to get and stay moving by jumping into the console. The natural first step for us is to create a cluster. We have multiple options here. Basic, Standard, and Enterprise give a full-on auto-scaling experience that completely takes care of the operational burden of scaling clusters. If you need a dedicated environment, you can right-size that cluster to start and then expand it just that easily in the product too. We'll pick the standard option. You are now able to choose your preferred cloud provider and your preferred region. And just like that, your cluster is launched. With a cluster up and running, it's time to create a topic. This is as easy as just a few clicks. You'll notice an interesting option here for infinite retention. Because Confluent Cloud's cloud-native engine, Quora, separates compute and storage, you can flip on our low-cost infinite storage and stop worrying about managing retention policies. And with that, you're done and have a cluster and a topic created. But the best part is that you're really done. Kafka users know that it's not just the initial setup of your clusters and topics that is difficult. It is scaling them, it's making sure they're up and running, it's updating them, it's keeping the performance up to the standards of your use case. It's these day two operations in particular that continue to pile up work for your engineering teams. With Confluent Cloud, that management is all taken care of for you. We deliver a complete data streaming platform with all the tools to build streaming data pipelines quickly, reliably, and securely. How do we do that? Let's take a look at all the clients Confluent Cloud supports. As you can see, we offer many popular clients giving your organization the ability to pick what works for it. From there, we want to get the data flowing using connectors. Designing, building, and testing connectors on your own can take three to six months of engineering time. But with Confluent Cloud, it's easy as choosing from over 70 fully managed pre-built connectors. However, if you do need a custom connector, Confluent Cloud can manage those for you as well. Here, we'll use a SQL Server CDC source connector. You can do that through UI, but you can use the CLI for that too, which you can see me do here. With the connector in the running state, you can see everything you need to know from its throughput to credentials to config and more. To start processing data, you'll create a KSQL DB cluster, which is Confluent's fully managed stream processor, so you can process your streams. We can see KSQL DB clusters up and running, and as we think about working with or blending our data with other streams, we need to be able to better understand those streams. To the right, you can see the tables and streams that are available in our organization. It looks like we have a few click stream names, so it might be hard to know which one to use. But with stream governance from Confluent Cloud, it's easy. Let's use our stream catalog feature to examine the streams from which we can see all the clickstream topics and through Confluent Cloud's metadata tagging, we can move past the dev and staging topics and quickly select the production one to consume from. If we examine this topic, we can see relevant information such as the team that owns it, their contact information, and more. Another feature of governance from Confluent Cloud that isn't available in open source is our stream lineage feature which lets you see the entire pipeline 
from start to finish, including any transformations. Here we can see the query we wrote in case equal DB to create the orders enriched stream. Next, we can click on the orders enriched topic and inspect the schema and review individual messages. When you can easily connect and transform data, it's easy to quickly deploy new use cases too. So far, we have been finding, accessing, and transforming data. However, you need to ensure everyone has appropriate level of access. Confluent Cloud integrates with a number of identity providers, and it allows for role-based access control. Here, you can see some of my teammates, and as an org admin, I can change their access by changing their roles. It only takes a few clicks. Building on access controls, Confluent Cloud offers enterprise-grade security capabilities to encrypt and secure access to sensitive topics with BYOK and role-based access control, enable traceability of user actions via audit logs, along with private networking options across all three cloud providers. We showed you how you can choose any cloud, and we also have an on-prem offering. Furthermore, we can help you connect data between these disparate environments with cluster linking. Let's see how cluster linking works in action. Here we have two clusters, one in AWS and the other one in Google Cloud. To link these clusters together, all we have to do is click on cluster link. Now we simply select the source cluster, then we select the destination cluster, we review the configurations and launch the link. Now we can select which topics we want to mirror in that cluster. And we're good to go and the data is flowing. This is helpful for use cases as varied as bridging to the cloud, to disaster recovery, to geo-replication and more. You have seen just how easy Confluent Cloud is to use and I've done almost everything through UI. However, you can do everything I covered today through Terraform, REST API, or Confluent Cloud CLI and we make that just as easy. Here, I have a Terraform plan that would set up a cluster, schema registry, and KSQLDB. All I have to do is initiate Terraform, build a plan, and then apply it, and everything is set up for me in my Confluent Cloud environment. Thanks for joining me today for this demo of how Confluent moves beyond the capabilities of open source Apache Kafka by making it cloud native, complete, and available everywhere. But the fun doesn't stop here. Head over to confluent.io to get started. We offer a free trial period with no credit card required, so you can experience Confluent Cloud for yourself. We have an awesome in-product tutorial and an interactive demo to help you get started. So don't wait any longer, get streaming today. <music>